you are now tuned in to another episode of Weekly Life Lessons with Chanel. <laughs> no, but seriously, I really feel like I have a new life lesson for y'all at least every other week. Well, let's talk about what I've learned this week, shall we? God's faithfulness versus your obedience. No, I keep on taking Welcome back to The Lifestyle. My name is Chanel and this video is for those of you that are like me. You know you hear from God and you know that God has told you something specific that he wants you to do or he has for you and for some strange reason it's just not clicking in your head to believe it or to believe that this is really what God has said to you. Know this, God's faithfulness is constant. Your obedience is fickle. God is faithful through your obedience and your disobedience, but your obedience isn't just about you. Your obedience will bring humility, selflessness, and purpose. You'll recognize that it's not about you. You'll build passion to serve others and to put them before yourself, and you'll live a fulfilled life knowing that you can and will be building up the kingdom of God. While on the other hand, your disobedience is full of pride, fear, and trust issues. But either way you slice it, your obedience and your disobedience never just affects you. That's why if you look in the Old Testament, it talks about generational curses and generational blessings. But that's a whole nother segment for a whole nother day. <laughs> I remember this really hit me a while ago. I was praying and I was talking to God and this was around the time that God was really, really impressing upon my heart to start my YouTube channel back up, of course. And so I was running and running and running and running. When I tell y'all I was running, y'all would have thought I was Usain Bolt for real. But <laughs> I was praying and God really showed me something and he was like, Chanel, I need you to know that your obedience is not about you. It's not just about you. It will affect you and it will um, add to you, but it's not just about you. Your obedience is attached to people's blessings. It's attached to people's breakthroughs. It's attached to people's deliverance. Like it's not just about you. It's so crazy to think that God is still faithful even when we're not obedient to him, but Really, if you think about it, God's faithfulness, just looking at God's faithfulness should really drive us to be obedient. Just the other day, I remember thinking about how like there are times and even lately where I haven't been in my word like I should be. I haven't been praying like I should be. I haven't been worshiping like all that stuff intentionally like I should be. But I really just got into worship and I really was praying and God was really just showing me stuff. And I was like, I got out of prayer and I was like, hmm like this is so weird because it feels so real and I really feel like God is speaking to me but I just I don't know right now I don't know and God specifically told me to look up um, a specific verse and so I tell you I looked that verse up and everything that God was showing me in my prayer time literally verbatim was the scripture that he told me to go and read and I was just like yo God like why are you so faithful even when I'm not obedient to you even when I'm not doing everything that I should be you never change you are constant even when I change even when my obedience is fickle you remain faithful so I really felt him tugging at me to share it with a couple of people and it's so funny because at first I didn't want to share it with those people because I was like do I really need to share with them or is it one of those things that you know you're keeping for me God that you're just trying to tell me but something inside me was just bubbling up like and my gratefulness was at the max and it was too much for me to keep to myself and I was like there's no way I can keep this to myself this is not just for me and so I shared it with those people that came to my mind and to my surprise and I shouldn't have been surprised because I know I hear from God I know when God is telling me to do something sometimes I act like I don't but I do know in my spirit and in my heart I really do know and so once I shared it with those people literally the responses that I got back was like oh my gosh I've been praying about this oh my gosh I've been thinking about this all week or oh my gosh I really needed to hear that thank you so much for your obedience and that's when it hit me 
your obedience is key now I thought that that word was just for me but because I really felt that God was leading me to share it I saw that because as an act of my obedience not only did God's word bless me greatly but it also blessed others greatly and that leads me to this if fear or uncertainty is driving you to your disobedience know this God will confirm what he has spoken to you something that always amazes me is the story of Gideon in Judges 6 you see Gideon God telling Gideon something he's like Gideon I'm gonna use you to do this this is exactly what I need you to do and Gideon's like I hear you God but um are you sure? It, like, am I sure that I'm hearing this from you? Am I sure this is what you want me to do? And Gideon goes as far as asking God, like, Lord, if this is what you're saying to me, if this is what you want me to do, I need you to confirm it to me and I need to be sure about it. And so he asks God, and I encourage you to go read the story, but he asks God, he puts down a fleece and he's like, Lord, if the, this dry fleece, this the fleece is dry if the fleece is wet in the morning and it's dry around the fleece i'll know that this is what you're telling me to do so he goes back the next day and he sees it and god did it the fleece is wet the ground around it is dry he's like yo this is crazy but that wasn't enough for gideon gideon's like okay i see that this is what you're telling me god but i'm still not sure and for some reason we always do that we're always like we know but we just need a little bit more confirmation but that's okay god understands god knows your heart he gets it he understands what you're thinking so what does gideon do he asks again god i get what you're saying but how about this i need you to confirm it one more time so this time i'm gonna put the fleece down and this time if the fleece is dry and the ground around it is wet I'll know it's you so he comes back the next morning and the fleece that was wet was now dry and now the ground around it that was at first dry was now wet and he saw he was like all right I can't shake it no more like I got you guys it's been confirmed too many times I, I know I know in my heart of hearts that this is you so and he went on to be obedient. So I just want to encourage you guys. We are called to obedience. We got this. We can do it. Just do it like Nike. Please comment below and tell me how God has been showing you his faithfulness this week. And how you plan to move forward in obedience to what he's telling you to do. Remember to like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Turn your notifications on right now. You do not want to miss a video, people. And as always share 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 let's be obedient now share the video <laughs> and never forget we are just like you we just think different